Thanks for backing me up out there. I was bullshit, man. It was what it was. 18 years on the force, and I've never falsified a single detail on any of my reports. And then you show up, and I'm lying out the side of my mouth like a Catholic schoolgirl at confession. It wasn't lying. It wasn't the truth. You give me a break, Lynch? That guy was a scumbag, and he got what was coming to him. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> Look. I know what it looks like. You just gotta trust me on this. You want me to trust you? You tell me exactly what went down back there, and we'll see if I can trust you. Start talking, man. It was just like you seen. I gave chase when he wouldn't obey the order to keep still. That boy didn't show any sign of resistance. By the look on his face, I would even say he was glad we showed up when we did. And then you took a step towards him. And he took off like a bullet out of a gun. And that's when I gave chase. What did you do, Brayden, to make him take off like that? I don't know what you're talking about. You were standing there next to me the whole time. Your back was towards me when you took a step forward. You did something. I don't know what, but something. The expression on that boy's face went from one of relief to one of terror in that single step that you took towards him. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that he led us straight to our perp. I don't buy it. It doesn't add up. It looks good on paper, but it doesn't add up. We're not moving from this spot until you come clean with me. Up until six months ago, I was deep undercover as a white supremacist in an organization I had infiltrated years back. And then my cover was blown. I was this close to bringing down his top members. I did manage to subvert and intercept a shipment of C4 explosives that would have made Oklahoma City look like a kid's game. The C4 was headed for the Charlottesville March. Remember that? Anyway, as soon as they realized I was a pig. It didn't take them long to know who fucked with their explosives. I barely made it out of there with my life. So I thought, and as it turns out, I wasn't so lucky. I came home from a debriefing shortly after my cover fell, only to discover my wife, Sarah, was gone. I searched every inch of our house for any clue to her whereabouts to no avail. Was she kidnapped? Was she drugged? Did she run off with another man? You know what I found? Nothing. Two weeks ago, I get a postcard in the mail from Berlin that reads Blut und Boden. Do you know what that means? Blood and soil. 
That's the Nazi propaganda chant that the white supremacists were chanting that night they marched on Charlottesville. They've got her. They've got my wife. And I am going to do whatever it takes to get her back.